Warning, this video will contain spoilers up to chapter 1021. You've been warned. Hello Manaka Matachi, this is Joy Girl. A while ago, I made a video where I theorized the possibility of the Straw Hats taking on Kaido and that this will most likely play one of the final parts in leading to the Alliance's victory. I think this war against Kaido will last until sunrise where Luffy will lend the final blow to Kaido as the dawn arrives, symbolizing a new light that will coincide with Wano's borders opening. In my original video, I discussed the parallels between Wano and Thriller Bar and how the Straw Hats themselves will play a part in Luffy's victory, acting as the Nine Shadows to Luffy's light. And if you guys haven't seen the video, the link is in the description. Now from the latest chapter, Luffy is back up and has every intention of getting back onto Onigashima, but before we see that Straw Hats versus Kaido moment that will lead to Luffy taking the finishing blow, I believe that Luffy will lose to Kaido one last time. For this to make sense, I want to look at Luffy's fights against Kaido and compare it to a pattern we've seen in the past. When thinking about the result of Luffy's previous two fights with Kaido, the villain who comes first to mind is Crocodile. During the Alabasta arc, Crocodile defeated Luffy three times. During their first fight, Luffy had absolutely no impact on Crocodile despite his efforts, and it was a resounding one-sided victory where we witnessed Crocodile piercing Luffy with a hook in his chest. Whilst Luffy lost his first fight, he figured something out that would help him fight better against Crocodile the second time round, namely that he needs water to counteract Crocodile's Sand Devil Fruit abilities. In Wano, Luffy first fought Kaido at the Flower Capital, and similar to the Crocodile fight, Luffy suffered a one-sided beatdown at Kaido's hands. And again, like his fight against Crocodile, this led to Luffy realizing his own limitations, having experienced the durability of Kaido's skin, and so he would later go on to learn Ryo in the Udon prisons from Old Man Hyo. So then, Luffy brought what he learned from both of these fights into his next respective battles. He brought water against Crocodile and Ryo against Kaido. And whilst he had more of an effect this time round, it still proved to be not enough. He lost in Alabasta for a second time, and he lost again to Kaido at Onigashima, even despite blossoming his advanced Conqueror's Haki mid-battle. Which brings us to fight number 3. In Alabasta, Luffy showed his resolve to defeat Crocodile when he coated himself with blood having run out of water. And this finally led to Luffy's much anticipated victory in their third face-off. And now in the Wano arc, we have Luffy back up. And as of the latest chapter, preparing to return to Onigashima with Momo's help and thanks to Karibu's hidden stash of meat. Making this the third time that he'll be facing facing off against Kaido. If we go back to Alabasta, we witness Luffy send Crocodile flying into the air, exposing him to the people of Alabasta, while simultaneously freeing them from the endless drought that had been terrorizing the country. So in Wano, we should see Luffy win gloriously defeating Kaido in front of all the citizens of Wano who had been suffering under his tyranny whilst also opening up the country's borders because the third time's the charm, right? Wrong. Because there is a difference. This is the new world. This is a Yonko. Luffy defeating Kaido in the same amount of tries it took to defeat Crocodile would, in my opinion, undervalue Kaido's status as a Yonko, which is why I believe that Luffy will lose to Kaido once again. We were shocked at Luffy's multiple defeats against Crocodile. It was the first time Luffy suffered resounding defeat so many times, clearly marking the dangers of the Grand Line and the threat of a powerful pirate with the experience to earn himself the status of a Shichibukai. Now, we're expecting Luffy to win against Kaido with this being their third fight, but this makes it the perfect opportunity for Oda to go a different route and showcase again the true strength and scale of Yonko. By breaking away from the familiar structure and thereby emphasizing Kaido's overwhelming strength, in the same way we needed to witness the multiple brutal defeats to signify the true threat of the Grand Line, we need to again see and understand the magnitude of what it means to challenge a Yonko in the new world. And I believe that Luffy's defeat this time ultimately comes down to one thing. Luffy at the moment does not have the right support to take down Kaido. What we witnessed in the Supernovas versus Kaido up on the roof was not teamwork. It was a group of strong combatants taking turns against a powerful figure. And now, Luffy's currently eyeing the way back to the rooftop to take on Kaido once more, with Momonosuke, Yamato, and possibly Marco's help to complete the Momotaro tale. And I do believe that Luffy and this new team will suffer another loss. However, whilst they may not be able to take down Kaido, I foresee that this new group will deal a significant amount of damage to Kaido and weaken him. I can see Luffy's new group taking turns in giving everything they've got and being exhausted afterwards. As for Luffy, I believe he will be again rendered 
temporarily unable to fight because he would have just used a new ability that takes a toll on his body and will require a certain amount of time to recover. Whilst we've seen Luffy infuse his attacks with Conqueror's Haki, we haven't seen this in conjunction with his Gears yet, which I believe is what we're going to see from him when he returns to face Kaido again. Considering that Gear 4 is known to have a toll on his stamina, particularly when he's facing strong opponents, infusing this with Conqueror's Haki may amplify this drawback even more, leaving Luffy depleted of energy. So I believe that despite all the efforts of Luffy and his allies, Kaido will not fall, but perhaps be damaged enough to be on his last leg. And as an exhausted Kaido is about to finish off Luffy, enter the Straw Hats. Here we go back to my original idea that the Straw Hats will protect Luffy while he's in a vulnerable state. And there are now a couple of reasons why I think the Straw Hats versus Kaido is likely to happen, in addition to the ones I discussed in my original video. Firstly, the Straw Hats had an easier time than expected in defeating the Tobiropo. If this trend continues and the Straw Hats defeat their opponents with relatively low difficulty, this keeps them fresh for a showdown against Kaido. Unless the Tobiropo have an awakened Zoan Devil Fruit form and thus their revival and eventual defeat of the Straw Hats happens, which could be the tragedy of Act 3, but after seeing how Robin decimated Black Maria, I'm starting to think that this is an unlikely scenario. Instead, we'll be seeing another parallel to Thriller Bark. In Thriller Bark, the Straw Hats had a relatively easier time against their opponents, which left them well poised for their fight against Oars. And in Wano, it seems like we're seeing a similar thing happen in this arc, where they still have energy left in the tank after their brushes against Kaido's officers. Now the question that is usually raised whenever I bring up the idea that the Straw Hats will fight Kaido is that not all of the crew have the means to damage the Yonko. This question can be addressed by having Kaido in a weakened state. Remember, the Straw Hats do not need to defeat Kaido. They just need to hold him off long enough for Luffy to recover, and I believe with the proper teamwork and strategy, they will do so. During the rooftop battle, the only people who had the sense to protect their allies were Zoro and Law, who both are familiar allies to Luffy. And this is what makes the Straw Hats special, because unlike their supernova allies, the crew would be willing to die to protect their captain and prioritize his safety. Think about the extent Zoro went through to protect everyone up on the rooftop. Now, imagine eight other individuals on the same page willing to do the same act of sacrifice. I take a cohesive group of individuals over a team of strong but uncooperative pirates. There is another difference in this, however, because this is the new world and we need to see more than what we've experienced in the past. So I believe that unlike Thriller Bark, where the Straw Hats teamed up without Luffy, it will make a whole lot of sense if this time at Wano, Luffy fights with his entire crew for the first time since Salbody against Kuma. But unlike Salbody, the Straw Hats are not running away this time. They will face Kaido head on. This is the reason why Marco insists on having the Straw Hats up on the roof. And having Marco up on the rooftop to witness this event will be perfect since he's been sharing his love for the crew throughout the raid. And so Marco will see his own prediction come into fruition for himself as Luffy and the Straw Hats do the impossible of taking Kaido down, bringing forth a new era and changing the times. My original take on this hasn't changed. I still think that if the Straw Hats were to fight Kaido, the bulk of their fight will happen whilst Luffy is recovering from a new ability he used after which he needs time to recover and so therefore in a vulnerable state. But in order to see this happen, it's critical that we see Luffy lose again. But as he does, time and time again, he will get back up. Luffy will rise as the dawn, and the Straw Hats are his nine shadows that will make his light shine at its brightest. And the rest is history. Luffy will take that finishing blow, defeating Kaido at the same moment the sun rises, heralding a new age for Wano and marking the Straw Hats as a force to be reckoned with. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. Please like and share the video and please do subscribe for more One Piece discussions. And you can continue those discussions on our Discord server, so don't forget to join that too. Thank you to our patrons who help support this channel. This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.